Hello, welcome. Let's look at this uh, Wyeck June uh, 2018 biology. Uh, please, we're going to be taking a series on Wyeck biology for different subjects. Today, we are on Wyeck uh, exams for different subjects. Today, we are starting with biology. Now, the number one question says the scientists who introduced by nominal nomenclature in the classification of organisms was a charles darwin b carolus Linnaeus, c john ray d louis pasteur now you're also gonna find out that i'll be uh picking out the right answers in marked in red now the the person that introduced the binomial nomenclature in the classification of organisms is carolus Linnaeus. Uh, the present method of classification and naming living organism is based on the work of Carolus Linnaeus from uh, 1707 to 1778. And this very Carolus Linnaeus is actually a Swedish naturalist. So you can find this answer in the classification of organisms, uh, organization of life. Now let's move to the second question. Which of the following statement is true about anthropods? A. Proteria has bears only legs. B. Mesothorax bears only legs. C. Metathorax bears only wings. D. Proteria bears only wings. Now the answer is actually that Proteria bears only legs. Proteria bears only legs. The right answer is uh, option A. That is the right answer. Anyone that is not having the the right answer will also make the appropriate uh, uh, correction. So A is the answer. Now let's move. Uh, uh, now the protorus is the foremost of the three segments in the thorax of an organism. This protorus is the foremost of the three segments in the thorax of uh, in the thorax of an insect that bears the first part of the legs. The protorus never bears wings in anthropods. Now, when we are talking about anthropods, your mind should always go to insects. Though some fossil group possess wing like uh, project wing like projections. Now let's look at uh, number three question. What level of organization is spirogyra? Spirogyra is actually in the level of tissue, not cell. You know the level of organizations. We have cell, after cell, we have tissue, after tissue, organ, then after organ, we have system. So depending on how developed the organism is, but spirogyra falls on that tissue. Now spirogyra belongs to the phylum known as Talophyta of the kingdom Plantae. Talophytes are simple green plants that are all aquatic. Spirogyra is a simple green algae found in ponds and ditches. Each filament is made up of a single chain of identical cells. Since this is all that the spirogyra is made up of, uh, the tissue is defined as collection of cells that are similar in structure and perform similar functions. The spirogyra in is a tissue. You can find it under classification and organization of life. Now let's move down to the number four question. The streaming movement of cytoplasm within paramecium is known as it's actually known as cyclosis. That is the name of the streaming movement of cytoplasm in paramecium. Now what is this cyclosis? Cyclosis is where there is flow inside the cytoplasm. It is typically observed in large plants and animal cells. Here, flow means that the cytoplasm is moving inside the cell. It is not stationary. So, cyclosis is actually the streaming movement of cytoplasm within the paramecium.
Now let's look at number five question. Which of the following cell organelles is found only in plant cells? Which of the following cell organelles is found only in plant cell? The answer is plastids. The answer is plastids. Why is it plastids? Because the plastids is a membrane bound organelle found in the cells of plants, algae and some other eukaryotic organs they are generally concerned with photosynthesis so whenever you hear plastic it has to do with photosynthesis and you know that it's only plants that undergo photosynthesis not animals now let's look at number six question active transport differs from diffusion in that active transport dash allows the movement of substances against concentration gradient that's what i think that the substance uh, active uh, transport does it actually allows the movement diffusion is cannot move against uh, concentration gradient but active transport can actually move against uh, uh, concentration gradient it is not that it is very fast process no it is not that it takes both it, it takes place in both uh, light and dark reactions of photosynthesis neither is it that it occurs in both plants and animals the right answer is that it allows the movement of substances against the uh, concentration gradient now let's look at number seven the diagram above are illustrations of the experimental setup to demonstrate a type of topic tropic response in plants this is tropic re tropic response in plants study them and answer questions seven and eight the type of response demonstrated is is it a phototropism g b geotropism c hydrotropism or d thigmotropism uh, the answer is hydrotropism because when you look at this setup you see water any movement that has to do with a relationship to water you, you know it's hydrotropism now tropism is when a part of a plant moves in response to a directional stimulus hydrotropism as shown in the diagram is when roots of plants bend towards moisture while stems and leaves show no response you can see that these roots are bending towards moisture whereas the other place the leaves are just the way they are here so this is hydrotropism now number eight the conclusion drawn from the experiment is that a shoots of plants are negatively thigmotropic b shoots of plants are negatively geotropic d leaves of plants are positively phototropic d roots of plants are positively hydrotropic now having in mind that the type of motion that is happening is hydrotropism then the answer has to do with hydrotropic so the right option here is that the roots of plants are positively hydrotropic because they are tending towards where the moisture is now number nine the odontoid process is found in a is found on the dash a axis vertebra b atlas vertebra c thoracic vertebra d sacra vertebra now the answer is axis vertebra because the axis vertebra is the second vertebra of the vertebra column the axis vertebra has a large centrum which projects forward as the odontoid odontoid process so that makes option uh, a the right answer now number 10 a seedling was made to stand in a solution of red ink red ink for three hours and a transverse section of the stem was examined under microscope the process being investigated was a the importance of micro elements in plants b ascent of water through the xylem d diffusion of color substances d distribution of food in elements so the right answer is uh, b ascent of water through the xylem that's actually what you use that to study and not diffusion of colored elements so i'm gonna color b because that's supposed to be the answer and not C so once I see such I'm all gonna point it out yeah so uh, 
please if you like this channel please hit the subscribe button if you have any questions and concerns drop it on the comment section the subsequent uh, lectures i'm going to be taking 11 and down to the rest of them thank you and god bless you